Hi, my name is Safa Mugaribi. I'm an SIE from Germany. And today we want to talk about some RPC Connect features. This video will only touch on a portion of the new features available in the new RPC Connect product. To fully leverage the power of this new platform, we highly recommend that you engage with MTS training. To do this, just simply go to the MTS website, click on services, click on training, click on training courses, Scroll down, here you see all the training stuff we have, like classroom and on-site training. And down below, you will find for the beginners, for the RPC Connect beginners, the basic software operation course. Then for our switch users, the people coming from the old RPC Pro product. And here on the right, you see the RPC Connect advanced software operation course. Today we are going to talk about it in the test stage remapping feature. And as usual, we will see some slides and then hop into the software and have a hands-on example. The test stage offers a lot of new features here, and we want to talk about the efficient remapping of drive files. Okay, so um, in RPC Connect, we have uh, the test stage and we have the possibility to reorder or remap our files. And when do we need that? That is the biggest question here. And I just want to show you a brief example where you need it and how efficient you can resort or remap your files here. This is the grid in RPC Connect where you can just create your sequence as usual. So you select your data, your drive fin files will be sorted from left to the right, as you can see here. And you can create really, really complex uh, sequences and nest them together with the help of these buttons here. And you can resort them and reorder them here with the up and down arrows. So that's basically the idea of creating a sequence and to create your final durability test to run. But what happens now if you want to reorder or yeah, change some files which you have created and your sequence is already there, you don't want to go and point into each drive fin file and remap it manually or remove it and then resort it again. That's not the way you should do it. The idea is here, if you are going, let's say, for example, to reiterate some files or to have some files in another place stored in another data set, and you want to remap them to get your final sequence again. For that reason, you basically use our remap drive file feature, which looks like that. And the idea behind it is you have all your drive fins which you have in your sequence active, like it's showing here. You can easily click on the auto match button here, and then it's going to find the files uh, in the same folder where you're currently working at, or you just basically change the path here and then reorder it with the help of the auto match function. So in this case, you see the sign cooling drive fin will be replaced by the sign cooling new fin, which RPC Connect um, found with the help of the remap drive feature. Clicking on OK will remap the files and you can easily um, yeah, continue with your durability test. So let's go for an example in the software here. So currently we are on the test stage. Again, we see our select sequence node here. This is a pretty easy sequence consisting of uh, eight different files here. And now these eight different files, let's say more or less, are obsolete because I needed to do a reiteration for whatever reason. And I stored all the files in the analyze stage here under the new drive files to remap. So I basically click on that button here, remap drive files. Once I've done this, I'm going to say, OK, you will find the new files here in that path. Going to select it in analyze, say, OK, take this time history folder say select data set and all the files which are in there will be now searched for. I'm going to copy it to all the path cells here. So because I'm sure I have a lot of files in there which need to be replaced. And with the auto match strictness, I can just easily say, okay, RPC, find a lot of files which are matching to the ones you see on the left, clicking on auto match. Now RPC will highlight the differences here. Now you see, for example, Belgish block has a two and now my new file has a four here. So it's going to say, is this the file you want to search for? Then you're going to acknowledge or deny. In this case, I see, okay, all of my files look fine. I just want to yeah, make sure that I select these files and figure of eight will be replaced by severe steel, for example. I'm going to click on remap. And as you can see here, RPC Connect updated all of my files right away. That is basically the feature I wanted to show you today. 
So again, thanks for watching and then see you next time.